this team has been based here for the best part of two years during COVID. It was meant to be their last game before heading back to New Zealand. That return has been delayed. They stuck with their original plans and it's been a real celebration for the Warriors here on the Central Coast today. Yeah, it's been a fantastic few hours, Matty. And you're right out the back there. They had the fair going. Uh, the crowd have been loving it, getting entertained, getting fed. And, uh, and plenty of drinks, so uh, I think we're, get, we're in for a game here. The Warriors will be ready to go. Um, very important game for them. If they grab the two points, they can jump into seventh spot. Uh, on the flip side, if the Melbourne Storm win by 18 today, they jump Penrith and will be on top. A bit to play for for both teams. And we are standing by for a special treat here at Central Coast Stadium. If you're watching throughout New Zealand and any New Zealanders in Australia, this is for you right now. So good. That was unbelievable. Your Sunday ticket is underway on the Central Coast, and it's Melbourne to receive the kickoff. Jerome Hughes watches it bounce awkwardly down for Tui Kamikamita. Called into the starting lineup. No Jermaine to Noah Brown. No Rocco Berry either. So Ken Momalo plays his final game for the Warriors. But right now, they're forced to defend the Storm. Across the face of Kamikamitha and Felice Kafusi. Backing up from Origin, along with Harry Grant, along with Cameron Munster. Only Christian Welch failing to back up after that early head knock last Wednesday. Here's Munster. Munster and Harry Grant returning to the Melbourne lineup, having missed a month prior to Origin with different injuries. And Jerome Hughes gets the kick away. A good torpedo bomb down the ground to Roger Tuivasa-Shek in that fullback position again with Reese Walsh out suspended. It was Tui Kamikamitha around the ankles and importantly so for Melbourne. Cody Nikarima to the line. Move now, come back, come back, Tui. And now a penalty. That chicken. High breaks down. So for hand on the ball, Brandon Smith just slowing things down again. I, a couple of set restarts going against the Melbourne Storm, and the Warriors get themselves in good field position again. They're going to take the two. Cody Nikarima gives the Warriors a 2-0 lead. On the final play now, Melbourne with Smith darting out a dummy half, popping the pass. It was meant for Kami Kamitha, but they get the penalty anyway. Warriors offside. The former Yamina Bunny, Nico Hines, from right in front, bound for Cronulla on a rich three-year deal from next season. But right now, he's kicking for Melbourne and kicking them back on level terms, Megan. Two on two. Uraning Dallium, Rookie of the Year. Harry Grant out there now. Move! All the way, Josh. Wait, wait! Go. Well done, it's a beautiful 
afternoon on a fantastic surface. The conditions are right for slick, free-flowing, fast, entertaining footy. But you're right, Greg Alexander. It's not working for either team right now. Eisenhuth almost dropped that. Jerome Hughes drifts across the ground and he's pulled down by Sirenen. He's a good mover, Jerome Hughes. Almost opened them up there. Grant with his first run, tip on beautifully by Nico Hines to Rima Smith. Beautiful. Out for Dean Aramia. Well, there they are. There's the Melbourne click. There's the form. There's some slick attack. And there's the first try. Yeah, off the back of the Jerome Hughes run that, that almost opened up the the Warriors defence, quick play the ball, they continue to come down that right hand side. Jerome Hughes goes flat. Brandon Smith looking for that quick play the ball and getting it now. Here they are driving towards the in goal. Tui Kami Kamita just short. He takes tackle five. Grant goes to his left. Again, Brandon Smith burrowing and accelerating. That's hectic. Brandon barges over and Melbourne get their second. They detangle. Now it's with Jerome Hughes. Hughes gets the oh, ball away. Oh. Beautiful from Chanel Harris to Vita on Brandon Smith. The Warriors halfback. What a try saver. Oh. That was a hit and a half from Harris to Vita, who is a, a noted defender. That, you must say that. He's a very strong defender for a number seven. Boy, oh boy. Branch for Hughes. Behind Kafusi. Eremia has one already. Put him down for two. Dean Eremia. So Matt Checken has ruled Eremia held up. Is that right? Roger, I didn't think could hold him up. Oh, he has, has he? Remember, it was sent up, no try. We need proof this ball has touched the ground. Roger Tuovasashek has his hand under the ball, oh. keeping the ball up and held up. We have wow. a decision. What a save. What a save. Harry Grant goes to Munster. Munster finds Smith and through Hughes to Corfusi. He's hurt himself there, Harris Tavita. Getting back into the defensive line now with a, holding a, a peck or a shoulder. We'll follow him as Melbourne play it in the middle of the ground. Grant goes to Vanuken. Now Hines gets away and kicks for Ado Carr. Oh. Brilliant by Melbourne. Oh. Nico Hines uses the speed of the Fox who pounces on the ball like a runaway chicken and feasts. What a finish, Melbourne. Now here's Chanel Harris to Vita leaving the field a moment ago. So we sweat on the halftime report for the halfback. Back for Grant. And as for Nukin winds up. Way down, mate. Keep working, Tahu. Good work, mate. It's now Jerome Hughes. Munster. Eisenhuth takes a good tackle. Hard into the legs. Marcelo Montoya. Grant shoots out of dummy half, dummying, grabbering, he gets the ball there. It spills free. What's happened here? Harry Grant goes very, very close. Jerome Hughes ends up with the ball. We're going to determine if Harry Grant knocks on in the play. Bailey Strillerin strips the ball out of Harry Grant's arms. Jerome Hughes takes clean possession and grounds the ball in the end goal. We have a decision. Now, Hughes. Was he outside? Got him inside, according oh, to the referee. Yeah. So this should oh, be a 40 20. I thought he was out. You referee he, says in. Yeah, you thought he was on the line. I thought he might have yeah, put his kicking 40, foot 20. on the line. Or his stationary foot mate. on the line. Inside. Oh, good. 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 Come back, Great mate, kick, tough. Jerome right, Hughes. Right, right. Absolutely nailed it. That's their first 40 20 of the season. His first career 40 20, Jerome good Hughes. And as a result, they're applying the blowtorch right here to the Warriors' goal line defence. Munster, Hines outside for Ado Carr, in ball, and try time, Justin Ollum. The Unitex Spartans erupt in Papua New Guinea, as does every Melbourne Storm supporter. They go further ahead. Yeah, good set play and great play from Josh Ado Carr. 16 tries this year. 
And that man has supplied plenty of good passes to Josh Adokar. Well, that, that set restart was the first since the 10th minute. We had, a, we had three or four to open the game, but that's the first one since the 10th. Egan to Nikarima. Here's Montoya. Now for Cossey, who straightens Edward Cossey. So the last play for the Warriors. Within range here. Harris tipped on by Sirinan. Now long to Aitken from two of Arsashek in the corner. Ken Momalo, his final game as a Warrior. It includes a try. Harry Grant, really strong today. Through Chris Lewis. Grant going it alone. Oh, that's easy for Harry Grant. The defence just hanging off, wishing him to pass the ball. But Harry goes over. Well, both number nines for the Melbourne Storm are, are just so powerful. Now to Armour. He loses the ball. So Nico Hines in his own in goal. Free play here. He's driven backwards, gets the oh, ball away. away. And now Jerome Hughes. Where's the support for Jerome? He dummies outside. Still he runs. And it was Dean Aramia who now. couldn't quite position himself. Well, Ar Aramia looked like he had the speed, but Ewan Aitken picked him up easily and just got himself in between Hughes and Aramia. Now Eisenhuth. Justin Olam kicking for Addo Carr. Still there on the ground. Addo Carr has it land in his Release lap. now. And play on. Hold, was that played up, Sonny? Go to Eisenhuth, a dummy half. Eisenhuth, down low, he's in. What a highlight for a man who doesn't get a lot of NRL four-pointers. Tommy Eisenhuth, out of dummy half and over. He's had a tough afternoon. Wade Egan, it's been knee injuries, head clashes. He copped an elbow there. Oh, opened him up. Nasty. Oh, it's a head clash, boy, with Ed, Ed Cossey. You raised the point earlier. Aren't we seeing a spate of head clashes at the moment? And, and the question has to be asked, is it the result of anything? Is it the result of changing tackling technique in any way to counter the head and neck crackdown? Between rounds 15 and 16, obviously, there's a, a weekend off because of the origin game. Ah, Mal looking for support. Nick Arima, Curran, numbers here to his left. Ben Murdoch, Masilla, Ewan Aiken outside for Ken Momalo. It's a double in his farewell game. Ah, good on him, Kenny, scoring again in that corner. <laughs> Terrific ball movement from the, from the Warriors. Arm out for Nick Arima again to kick out towards Momalo. Is it a hat-trick in his final game? It's three for Ken. Well, there's a little something for the Warriors this afternoon. The departing star finishes with a hat-trick. Ken Momalo gets a late call-up despite being granted a release. Look, and he's upset, uh, and you can understand that. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty emotional moment for, for Ken. Yeah, beautiful scenes as the emotion bubbles over. No doubt not an easy time. Negotiating this departure from the Warriors to join West Tigers. And from the sideline, fittingly, his third try, the hat-trick try, is converted. And at the end of 80 minutes, with Ken Mamalo in tears, he farewells the Warriors with a hat-trick. But it is Melbourne's day. Big winners, the Storm, 11 in a row this season, 11 in a row against the Warriors. They're home, 42-16, and top of the table as a result.